What's going on team? Proof here and today I'm coming at you with another early testing video with me playing Bruce with set 3 primarily focusing on his use with the new card that we got his new triple rare in Diabolos Returner Derek and the idea behind Derek is to be like that one-two punch to be utilized with Leonard because Leonard may, if your opponent commits into it can sweep the column and give you resources. If they choose not to, then Derek can come down and then potentially give you either a soul or a board that you can operate with. So it offers you like some nice utility, which regardless of what your opponent is trying to do. And it works well early because it can, it can be used to get troublesome units off the board, the likes of Turquoise from Prison, the various overdress units your opponent might be playing, Dark Strange Dragon from Bastion, things of that nature. And as always with early testing, the idea is to kind of see how the cards interact with each other, kind of see what synergies are taking place, more so than the result of the game, because once you get a better feel for things, then you can start testing for optimizing sequences and things of that nature. And the games I'm going to show today are going to just be um, the raw replay files from CFA. If you want to watch it with commentary, go back to my Twitch channel and watch the Twitch vibe where I kind of give my thought processes behind what, what I'm going to be doing. So I hope you enjoy the replays and I'll catch you back here in a little bit for the debrief. Yeah, so we got three draw, four heal, four front, Galma Guild, and four of the new crits that are incoming because Bruce needs soul and it might come in handy. Currently, I'm playing three Regina just to try it out. The idea behind it is that it can help turn junk in hand or on, or on board into useful cards. So say you use Derek and then you roll junk, you can at least play Regina and tuck in two of the bad things and call something else out that might be useful. So that's the general idea behind it. Uh, four proto bulb of course to combo with leonard and to fish things back out of soul that you might put in via all your soul charging means for uh four pgs because staple this is derek i used eden today to proxy it uh good card i don't think it's as busted as people seem to think it is it's just uh why wasn't this a barrel card more than anything but it gives you a nice one two double whammy with him and leonard then four Leonard, and then of course the ride deck, and then four Bruce, four Hellblast full dive over Pandemonium Tactics because I think I do very good on Soul without needing to have Pandemonium Tactics, and I think trying to go for 12 Soul is unnecessary at the current moment. So I still play Hellblast full dive, didn't have a Soul issue all day today, so seems pretty okay to still stick with full dive. And then for Marjorie, I've heard people thinking about cutting her in favor of playing Pandemonium Tactics and not playing Hellblast Full Dive. I still love having Marjorie in the deck because card advantage, it combos well with Derek to turn bad stuff from in on board into soul. And if you find Marjorie off of your top check with, um, with Derek, Aces, because then you can just play Marjorie play one of the triggers that you might find and then you have a nice plus one coming to your hand so i still i still enjoy it. it becomes a very good soul charge element without having to play pandemonium tactics and get through your deck that way and then if people are trying to play around leonard they feed into Derek, and you might go counter blast one call one card and soul charge three cards so you kind of have a pandemonium tactics with a body in that sense because you just have a unit on board that can become a useful beater for final rush purposes.
So welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed those games. Playing against Bastion as Bruce when you're the Bruce player going second is all about trying to find that sweet spot to maintain tempo. That way you don't get just steamrolled out of the game. And I think Derek can really help in that regard where being able to pop things off the board that might be troublesome like I talked about from the intro. And you kind of saw it in game one, even though I was unfortunate I didn't have myself some defensive checks to help kind of stem the bleeding a little bit, but that kind of paid more dividends in games two and three. So hopefully it kind of helped kind of put that in perspective when watching it in action. So Derek does what I kind of expected to do, either getting pop trouble some units off of the board by popping them or by granting you some soul or some board action, maybe something you can convert into cards in hand with the likes of Marjorie. So I never really felt like I was lacking in soul in the bashing games or in the games I've played so far with it, which I'll probably showcase later on this week. And overall, it doesn't feel like it's too powerful. It's like a solid, like overall really solid addition to the deck. It just doesn't feel like it's overtly powerful like Leonard felt coming out of set two. So I really hope you enjoyed this early testing video. I look forward to bringing you some more Bruce action in the future and I'll catch you next time. Peace, be easy. Listen.